Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's uh, crack into another one. TNT, Yo. you let the cat out of the bag that we recorded ahead because I was going on vacation. And, and now you're back. I'm back. I Jonas, came back. Jonas, do you, are we talking about your vacation? We can talk about the vacation. I guess we can talk about that <laughs> vacation week. Honestly, funny enough, I haven't really spoken to you, even IRL, too much about what your vacation entailed. We had a pretty... Oh, yeah, we chatted a little bit the night I got bit, home. A little bit. Yeah, not much. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. But, uh, you know, I went to bed, uh, and then we had, like, a busy weekend, and during the week, we don't see each other a lot. So, yeah, let's let's get into it. So, uh, yeah, hey, this will be the Joni Vacay episode. Where the hell did you go? I went to Cancun, you Mexico. You this rich mother fudger going to Cancun on Crazy Town Cash. Yeah, we got the Crazy Town credit card. I racked it up. You can you can rack it up next time. I went to an all-inclusive resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did that include? <laughs> it was all-inclusive. All-inclusive. So, um, I had... I had a balcony with an oceanfront view, and I had unobstructed, Beautiful. so it was like full view of the ocean. You should use a picture. Or you should use one of the pictures from your trip as the as the uh, as the thumbnail. Yeah, if, just uh, for this one episode. If I feel like it, I will. I don't know, dude. I already got thumbnails made. <laughs> I'm I mean, lazy. I know. I, know, I feel but you. But if you just put a picture up and then name the same thing, nobody. Yeah, yeah. No one's gonna pay attention. Like, what the hell? So and then it's like, so all inclusive. So all alcohol was included. Yeah. All food was included. Right, there was awesome. like um. There was uh, alcohol service from 11 a.m. till 1 a.m. Oh, there was a time frame on alcohol. So you couldn't just like order. No, 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. Room service you could do at 11 to 11, but 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. at the bars in the place. Oh, so room service you could order. But they also also had a fridge in my room that they stocked up with beer every day. With Uh, beer? Yeah, they had beer in it. And then I asked the dude, I was in my room the one day the dude was stocking my snacks. Because you have a little snack tray with like Pringles and nuts and Snickers bars and stuff. And I was like, can I get a bottle of whiskey? And he didn't speak English, of course. So I got Google Translate and I was like, can I get a bottle of whiskey? And I held it up and he just, he handed me a bottle of whiskey. So I put that in my fridge too. So I had all the alcohol anytime I wanted it. All right. So you had alcohol you had drinks you had what about snacks uh, yeah snacks oh, so good the room was great jonas sent us a uh a short of the room via snapchat it was it was very nice room yeah send that to you and couch man pete it had a it had a hot tub that was also that was actually a little jank bro i only used the a hot, hot tub was jank? it was a it was like a tub with jets in it it was not a hot tub you had to fill the tub up and yeah i turned it on full hot and it took like 15 minutes for that ish to get up above the jets and it was only lukewarm and then and then i got in and then i turned on the jets and like 80 percent of the jets were behind you on your back yeah and they just kind of and like so it was a two-person thing and i was there by myself so the other jet <laughs> shot water out of the tub onto the floor because because huh? there usually could be somebody next to you right <laughs> so i had to sit there with my hand covering one of the jets <laughs> And then I was like, I was sitting there for like a minute, and I was like, this is not, this is not what I int- <laughs> thought it would be. I mean, it was oh, not so bad. I, I can't complain about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I left, I left the tub like half full because yeah. like the next, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll drain the like half the water, leave it half full. If I want to use it tomorrow, I only have to fill it up halfway. The damn housekeeper let all the water out, and I was like, man, I'm not going to sit for 25 minutes to fill this bitch up again. So. <laughs> um, food was really good. There was five, like five restaurants. There was like a Japanese place, a Mexican place. There was like a uh, a buffet for all three meals. Yeah, different, yeah, yeah. And, you know. And then they had they had like a, a super fancy like it was not included like eighty five dollars seven course. You have to wear a suit and tie basically. See, I would have definitely been on that. If, if I wouldn't went by myself. I would have. Yeah. They had a, the the Asian restaurant had hibachi. I didn't do the hibachi because you had to make reservations. I just went and ate. Like, because I was like, I'm good. Um, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So, but it was a, uh, it was a little uncomfortable, bro. Uh, explain that. Everyone how how was, was it like, uncomfortable? It was way. Everyone was really super accommodating, and I realized that when people like take care of me, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> like, does it, does it bring? Does it like bring out the white guilt? I, I guess <laughs> so, bro. Like, I don't do you, know. Do you look at it and think my ancestors? Did I'm this? like. <laughs> Great, 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 Graham, Pappy. Yeah, like, no, dude, I just, like, it made me really uncomfortable. 
Um, it it kind of makes you think like of the people who treat like you know those those uh, service those service exactly. industry people badly. It's like man, what kind of like on top of them like yeah. just yeah. Wait, serving you literally? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna treat them like assholes on top of it. Yeah, I'm like, bro, yeah. like and, you- I mean, those people exist. Uh, oh no, absolutely. Obviously, it's a straw man. But it in was this um, instance, no, everyone but- was super nice, man. Too nice. It's like it's like fake nice. And what they do is every time you would walk by anyone who worked at the hotel, yeah, they'd put their hand over their heart and they'd say and they say bueno, like I love it. It was it was, it was cool. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, see, and that's the kind of stuff. Like if I were a millionaire, I'm going to create my own legion of darkness. Like everybody that works for me is going to have to do like some some pose. I'm gonna like salute that. you every time. You yes, walk dude. I'm gonna just walk through the halls of my million dollar billion dollar mansion in like dark flowing robes with like a train that like girls have to like hold it as I walk to the kitchen. To <laughs> like my a bridal cup. dress, like. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Just everyday menial activities are going to be the most pomp and circumstance. I love that. I do. Yeah, it was it was cool, and like it just I don't know, man. It was really muggy. It was I mean, like it was humid as hell. Jonas told me. Now this this one I gotta call you out on because I really thought you were gonna bring it up. You oh, it up I, I, I was about to because I've talked to numerous people other than you, and everyone agreed with me except for you. All right, so Jonas seems to think that it is odd. For the majority of the staff to not be able to speak English language, even though he was in Mexico. I was not surprised they couldn't speak fluent English, but they spoke very broken English yeah. to the point that like, they I was telling you the example you. of like, I was walking up the steps on the, by going to the beach and there was a guy there and I was just like, oh, hey, what time do you work till today? And he just was like. 11 to 7. And I was like, oh, it's like, you like working here? And he was like, just like shakes his head and smiles. And I'm like, I'm like, they treat you good here? And he was just like, 11 to 7. And I was (laughs) like, okay, never mind. Like, like, but when, you know, it's really funny. I've I've told a few other people about this and they were all like, really? I would have thought the people that work there would have spoken fluent English because most of the people that go there are are American English speaking tourists. All right. And then I'm going to raise my hand and say respectfully, most of those people are not the most educated people in their country, similarly to the way that the people who work in those industries are not the most educated in this country. Not only to mention that that fact in, in part, but the fact that they live in Mexico, they grew up in Mexico. Oh, Everybody they know speaks Mexican. I'm not saying I was surprised that they spoke Spanish. I would think that if a person who was bilingual or at least decently bilingual, they would try to leverage that into either a getting out of Mexico or, or being into a, a job that- or a position that gets them more money than being a cleaner at a resort. So I mean, you're not wrong. So when it comes down to that, I was just like, yeah. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it just, it just, I, I guess I expected a little bit more of ability for conversational English, but I mean, it, I got most of, I only had to pull out Google Translate a hands, a handful of times. And it was when I was trying to get like very wordy about stuff yeah. that like they just didn't understand. Uh, look, man, I go to the gas station here at two o'clock in the morning and nobody speaks English in that motherfucker. And I live in America. Yeah, you're so- not wrong. <laughs> You ain't wrong. So if I'm not gonna get I've been out of shape about that, I just I'm, I'm just gonna. Be I wasn't like, yeah. mad. No, I didn't say you were been out of shape about. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm I not, wasn't but, mad. But I just, but I just realized like, huh. for me personally, that was my first ever solo vacation. Yeah. yeah. That if I'm gonna travel by myself, yeah. I'd, I'd rather go somewhere where English is the main language because I can conversate with staff and bartenders and whatever. Dude, and honestly, you're not even wrong because it's like. Does the guy who did learn enough English to just like have general conversation with the people, he's going to be getting tipped out of his mind. Oh, absolutely. Because they're going to be like, hey, yo, get, get Eduardo. And he, Eduardo gets on the phone. What can I do for you? And it's like, oh, Eduardo, I love you. Right. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Like, but if I would have went there with like a girlfriend or a friend or a group of people, I wouldn't have cared at all. Yeah. It was just that like. I, in my mind, I was like, oh, well, if I get bored, I can just go sit at the bar, yeah, yeah. BS with a bartender. Yeah, you may- know, maybe, but- maybe that, because I feel like every resort in a different country that, that mostly pertains to a different country, 
Because like most of the people that go to that resort would probably be American. Most of them, yeah. I yeah. mean, there was some like some dudes there from England, and, okay. stuff, and there was some Asian folks there and stuff like that. Okay, but okay. most of the people there were American. Okay, and, you know? and I would expect that because it's like the distance and everything, and the right. price point is probably a lot better for us. And, and that sounds amazing. So yeah, you definitely should have a, a translator there or something, right? But, right. Especially an all inclusive. Come on, have one guy. Right. Hi well, right. Hire so, somebody. So yeah. So the next time I go on a solo trip, I'm just gonna go somewhere in the states and just like. But I'll tell you what, man. I've never been to an all inclusive. It was so nice to know that I didn't have to spend any money. Now I tipped. You weren't even supposed to tip. It's not required. Yeah. But like I took like I took like a hundred and ones and just like if I went to dinner, I threw a few dollars on the table for the waiter. If somebody helped me with something, I gave him a couple bucks. I tipped the bartenders. Yeah, okay. Like it, I mean I didn't even go through the hundred dollars while I was there. Like it wasn't you know, it and, wasn't anything like that. And you still probably build a small school in Mexico. <laughs> oh Jesus. Wow. <laughs> But but no man, it was it was nice to be like I spent X amount on this vacation, and then the only money I spent extra was like I paid for a massage like spa day, and then I paid for one excursion to go on a, a go on a boat to an island, and that was it. Other than that, I spent yeah. zero dollars, and it was like you did, knew everything up front. Did you get a Mexican happy ending? No, no. But it was the best massage I've ever gotten in my life. And I asked that lady how you've long had she, a few. I asked that lady how long she's been doing massage, and she answered me, "You're my only one today." And then I said, uh, "I go, I go, no, todos años." And then she was like, "Then she realized what I meant," and she said, 15 years she's been doing massage." Holy yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. So I was like, años. "I was like, absolutely." I was like. Hell yeah. High you gotta, five. You got to learn, like, uh, respect. Right. Like, right. Right, right, So, anyways, that was my vacation. It was, I mean, it was, it was, it was wonderful. Yeah. It wasn't bad. So. Yeah, Jonas had a good time. I'm glad you're back, though. Glad yeah, you married one back, piece. And we went out for my birthday. I 100% thought you were going to get taken out by the cartel. You made it back. My grandma literally texted me and said, have fun in Mexico. Be careful of the murder and kidnapping. And I, I, she's, definitely, 90, though. she's 90 years old. She's <laughs> wrong, dude. Just be, yeah, I'm glad you and, made it out. And then, uh, yeah, and then we went out and like had like a big old gathering for my birthday. And that, I mean, it was right. a good ass week, man. Right, so. I'm, I'm going to have to loosen the Loose a little bit on you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Let them roam free a little yeah. bit. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep.